We are using Ubuntu as our operating system and we will start off by updating all the Ubuntu packages. Then we will install the firewall and add the ports we need. Now, we are going to install some packages. We start by installing Git and then some other required packages. In this step, we create a user which we will utilize for the rest of the installation. It is not good practice to use the root user. Here we are installing the latest version of Go. Next step is to clone the Celestia code repository and then build the Celestia binary. We create our validator wallet. Be sure to save your mnemonic. Next we initialize data in daemon's home directory and download the genesis file. Here we are adding the persistent peers in the config file. We start and test our node on the command line. It will start looking for peers and then start syncing. We will now stop the node and create a systemd service that will run the node in the background. Start the service and check the status. This command is used to check the node sync status, pay attention to the latest block height parameter, it will increment as you sync new blocks. Also note the catching up parameter is true, which means that the node is not yet in sync with the Celestia network. Now it is time to relax and wait for the node to sync, this will probably take several hours. We run this command again to see if our node is now in sync. See that the catching up parameter is now false and the latest block height parameter is the same as Celestia's network's latest block. To get some testnet tokens, go to Celestia's Discord server. There you will find a faucet channel where you can request tokens. Use the command, dollar request followed by your wallet address. After requesting tokens from the faucet, we can check our wallet balance to see that we received them. Now that we have the tokens to cover the transaction fees and the minimum stake required, we can create our validator. Visit Mintscan and select the Celestia chain. You can find your newly created validator under the validators section. It will show as inactive, once you have enough delegations you will move to the active validator list. Be sure to check out our video on how to create a bridge node.